Hey everyone, welcome back to Pandaville. I am your host, Panda, aka Amanda. And um, first I wanted to say, Happy New Year. It's not really New Year's, uh, but in like another day or so, it's going to be New Year's. So I just want you guys uh, to be blessed. And to all my new viewers and all of the old viewers, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for a little bit. Um, I took the time to write like show notes to maybe help me stay on task. So if you see me like looking down and stuff, that's why, because I don't want to be, you know, just going off course and stuff. Cause I find that I've been doing that a lot lately with so, to jump right in. I am going to talk about my, it ain't done yet. I don't have a lot, um, because I pulled a lot of stuff off for of the needles, but I do have some. Um, the first thing, the first it ain't done yet is is my hubby's socks. So I had started, I had went and and bought some yarn, and I bought the Peyton's Croy sock, um, and so I started to just. I wanted to knit my husband socks um, and he liked the ones that I had knit him the, my first pair of socks ever which they were kind of like really big on him but he liked it because it keeps his feet warm so I went ahead and I started to knit him uh, these socks in a US zero on my higher highest which are starting to be my new favorite type of needles I do, I've been hearing a lot about um, carbons. I'm thinking about purchasing a set, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm still, you know, mulling it over. But, so I knitted this on higher highs, or I'm knitting this on higher highs. I actually took it off the needle because I had to, I have to pull back. What happened was I did not measure accordingly. And so I started to work on the heel um, before before I should have so I had to pull back tons of rows and I put in an afterthought what you call it an afterthought uh, lifeline and it really didn't work out for me so I don't know how much really I'm gonna be pulling out but this is my it ain't done yet and I'm hoping to have it done uh, you know a couple of days that's one my other it ain't done yet I had I so all right people you all know that I love yarn and I just want to buy up yarn and make yarn and buy more yarn so for 2015 hubby had challenged me to use up my stash it's going to be very hard <laughs> not to get yarn and I may just get some yarn but not as much as I already have planned in my head to buy so um, I told him you know what that's not an unreasonable request I can definitely try and use up the stash that I have so with that said I started um, just to use it up I started an um, ear flap hat uh, that I've had purchased a, a while back from Stacy Perry from Very Pink Knits, um, and it's kind of like the ears. I'm not really happy with it, but again, I'm using up yarn. <laughs> but um, I am going to to do a better job of this. I promise. I don't even know what kind of yarn this is. I do want to say that it is maybe Red Heart. If not, then it's Karen yarn, 100% um, acrylic from Michaels um, but here it is it's not done yet I'm hoping that it would look a little bit better um, maybe I'll even just like stuff the ear flaps in because I'm not really liking the way that they came out they kind of look really really squarish and not kind of like that round that roundness but um so here's that this is my one of my use up stash projects so that's that and then um, the last podcast, I told you that I was working on 
first of all, I have to shout out, uh, I have to shout out the Fat Squirrel Knits, Amy Beth, because I still in, am in love with her bag. I actually want to get more smaller bags. I have this idea for 2015, um, that I will hang up my projects, like my work in, my working projects, I will hang them up on the wall so that it's not like out of sight out of mind and it gets me like really focused so 2015 is the year of focus um, for me so with that said I had started this project and I was talking to you guys about it at, in the last podcast this is the Rodeo I don't know where the other thing went but this is the Rodeo Drive Poncho from Stacy uh, Perry very pink knits I remember talking to you guys about how the cabling, I wasn't too sure if I was going to like pull back or anything like that and, and start all over and that I wasn't going to do it. Well, I decided that I was going to do it. I decided that it was just too, you know, um, too much of a difference and you can definitely notice that the cables weren't lining up and they weren't all the right size. Um, to just let it slip by and it, it was, was supposed to be a gift for my mom but like I had a lifesaver I had a light bulb what my dad did for this this Christmas was he called all her kids um, you know there's six of us so he called us all and said um, just want you to know for Christmas I'm buying I'm, I want to start your mother on a Pandora bracelet so buy a pendant hey I'm fine with that I definitely could do that and I and wow while I buy her a pendant, I will continue to work on this. Um, and I don't have to rush now to try and finish it. So, unfortunately, when he changed, you know, when I brought the pendant, I stopped knitting this. And so I have to jump back on ship and start knitting this so that this can be, uh, it's a done deal. As opposed to, um, it ain't done yet. But the yarn that I'm using is, uh, Worsted cotton from Blue Sky Alpaca, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, Blue Sky Alpacas, and it's number, color number, you know, the numbers is the colors, uh, the colors are numbered, so I don't, I don't know which, I think this one's the great, 617, I have said it before, but I'll definitely put it in the show notes. 617 and 643. I think that the gray is the 643 and that the pink that I'm using is the 617. But I can definitely double check that and put it in on the show notes. So that's so that's where I'm at with that. So I did restart it and um and it's it actually I'm really happy with the way that you know that I've really been keep I've really been paying attention to the detail um, and really making sure that my tension stays the same uh, throughout so I've really been working on my tension so that's um, my mom's poncho and then I have and this wasn't I this I hadn't started yet um, the last uh, the last podcast I did not start it at all I was telling you that I wanted to start it and I did look at Ramsey everyone say hi to Ramsey this is my voodoo you love me doll um, by uh, Susan Claudino and um, this actually was supposed to be a gift for my niece I had wanted to gift this for her but I am not happy with um, with the way that I knitted this up my tension is all over the place my arms are not like there's no real like my legs are not the right size and that's because I didn't do two at a time I like did one arm and then waited a couple of days then did another arm you know because of life that I didn't really I wasn't able to really like do this all in one shot and because of that although I used the same needle I really couldn't I must not have been paying attention to my rows because I thought that I was knitting the right, the right amount of rows for my arms so that they're, they're the length, the same length, and the stuffing. You know, this is still new to me. So when I do the stuffing, um, 
it's not really firm the head is firm but then again it's like all mismatched misshaped so although this is uh it ain't done yet and i am going to complete this um i'm going to do it again because i feel that practice makes perfect and this was my first time trying this I did a better job knitting the uh, Wild Things by Susan Claudino. I don't know why. I think it's pretty much almost, almost the same concept. Um, it's very, it's an easy pattern to read. I'm sorry, not easy. For me, I found that it was very um, quick to catch on. And I just changed some stuff. So she usually has an X here. The mouth was really small. I could have made it wider. Like I have a lot of things that I've been jotting down you know to to remember for the next time that I make that I do this the yarn was gifted to me a couple of years ago by the niece that I was that I want I was hoping to give this to um, she gave it to me for Christmas a couple of years ago so I don't remember and I don't know where the, the ball band is I have it somewhere but I just don't know where it is and so I can't share that with you but I think that regardless of what, this is a perfectly imperfect voodoo you love me. And I still have to, you know, hide the the yarn. But I, I still feel that I did, I did a damn good job. <laughs> I think this is cute. And I like the way that I use the button, like, different. Anyway, anyway, let me, let me not go there. Let me not go there. Okay, so <clears throat> I always start a couple of things and then I'm just like F you about it. But F you is not really a nice word sometimes to use, although I really love it. I love F you. But um, so what I'm going to say is it's a Brooklyn term, it's a New York term, but when you, um, if you've ever driven through you know Brooklyn on the highway and you're leaving Brooklyn and let's say you're going to Queens uh, it says leaving Brooklyn forget about it so I'm gonna use forget about it uh, for the patterns that are probably in hibernation or have been pulled out okay so one of the patterns that um, that I had talked to you guys about the last podcast was the 10 stitch blanket and I was just like forget about it I I love the idea, I love the concepts very fast um, because it's just garter, garter stitch back and forth, back and forth, and then the mitered corners. But I just, I just got very bored with it. I didn't even, I'm sorry it went off camera. I didn't even like really continue um, as much as I had wanted or hoped to. Um, to show you guys but what I did was I did start to change and I'm not I think that this is what stopped me from continuing because I'm not really too sure if I like the um, the color scheme going on here I thought that this would definitely work in my mind but then when I started to knit it up I couldn't um, I just I don't know if I like the, the solid green for this because the solid green is really dull color and um, and this variegated yarn is kind of bright like this is the way that you see it and maybe a little bit it's the same it's the same so you see how dull this green is as opposed to this va uh, variegated yarn um, so I'm not really too sure if I want to continue on with that. Let me know what your thoughts are. Until then, it's forget about it. Like, I'm, I'm putting this off to the side. I'm not going to rip this out because I may just change the, I may just change this and then continue on and maybe just do this a solid, you know, solid green. Um, but I've been in this, like, dual type color thing going on, um, so I that's so that's one of the things <clears throat> that's kind of stopping me from pulling this all out. So that's my forget about it. The other forget about it is the Harmony um, Everyday socks that I was going to knit in Madeline Tosh um, lace weight yarn uh, in the color of antique lace. Okay, so the reason why that's a forget about it is because I realized that there's no nylon for my recollection there's no nylon in the yarn so making the sock without any type of elasticity um, 
I think that's what the nylon does. I have to double check that. But without that, I, I know that making socks are, are not, you know, that there has to be nylon in order for a sock to really have that real good fitting. So I pulled it out and I have to think about what yarn do I have here that I can use for the Harmony Everyday Socks. If not, then I will have to make a list and say that that is, you know, something that I have to buy yarn for. So, so that is that. I don't have any, it's a done deal. I thought that I did, as a matter of fact, yeah, no, I don't have any, sorry. Which leads me to just my, oops, sorry, I kicked the camera. It leads me to my 2015 going nons. So I've really been trying very, very hard to um, stick to things that I say when it comes to knitting. And I've, and I think that I've been doing a little bit better with that. And again, I think that is because I have, you know, you guys to talk to and have to like, so 2015 is my year of getting it together and I'm definitely trying to figure out a schedule that's going to best work for me and like stick to it and just, you know, enough is enough. I'm going to have like that, you know, just, I'm putting my foot down, boom, stomp it down, just leave it. Just don't touch. This is how I'm doing things from now on. So I'm working on that. To help me work on that, I have True, the artsy knitter. You guys, I always talk about her. I think that we, we're developing a really cool relationship, friendship. Um, you know, we did Skype night the other the other day, and um, I, I just really like talking to her in regards to like knitting and and everything. She's really cool people. She's down to earth. So one of the things that um, I was talking to her about was, you know what exactly is it that I want to do? And in the in um, earlier podcast, I had said that she's like my knitting warden. She has a knitting warden, and then she's my knitting warden. Um, but she's really like my drill, like she's a drill sergeant. You know, she's there to like crack a whip when I need a whip cracked, and she's just like, well, let me see you and do this, and how come this? And, and she's really been keeping me on a straight out uh, you know straight path and trying to figure out what is really doable for me and what isn't so I have to give her props for doing that um, and sometimes I'm just like listen don't go there <laughs> leave me alone and she starts laughing but so, but you know sometimes you need to hear things and so she's really good with doing that so that's why I don't have so many whippies you know so many like work in progresses because of her She's like, stick to those, just stick to those, get them done. Then you start something else, you know, and she's, she's really trying to help me like stay focused. Cause she knows my attention span is like, pattern. look at this pattern. You know, I think I'm going to buy yarn for this type of pattern, but I was thinking about this pattern instead. Like my mind is all over the place. Um, so she's really been helping me like stay focused. Um, so one of the things that, that I told her I was doing for 2015 was making a list of projects that I want to do and I really want to stick to this list and if it's not on this list I don't want to do it so I want to share with you guys my list and I hope you don't mind but before I share the list I do want to say that another uh, 2015 another thing in 2015 is that True had challenged me to be a continental knitter I've taught myself how to continental knit, but I always go back to the English style. Although I'm lefty and it should have been second nature to me, I taught myself off of books. And a lot of the books that I've read or purchased when I first started knitting, it only showed you uh, English, uh, the English style method. It did not show me the continental. So although I, I later on I taught myself how to do the continental using YouTube, I still revert back to English style. So... Um, so she challenged me and I accept your challenge, um, that in 2015, I will only knit continental. Okay. So with that said, I want to share with you, um, a project that I just started. I started it, uh, not yesterday, the day before yesterday, but I didn't knit anything until, um, I, knit, I started it the day before yesterday, but I didn't I didn't pick it back up again until probably like 10 minutes before I started podcasting. Um, so 
the name of it is the baby the baby Aaron body suit um, hat and booties and it's by um, uh, Elaine Casey it is a paid pattern on Ravelry I think I paid like six bucks but look how adorable my goodness I love it um, and so what happened with this um, before I I uh, show you what I did, what happened with this is that I think it was about a month ago. My cousin told me she wants to she wants me to make this for February first. She's supposed to be giving birth February first, so I really like slept on it. I really you know I drag I really dragged my feet in trying to start this up. I finally probably like last week or the week before last I asked. Brian to take me to the yarn store so that I could purchase the yarn for this which he gracefully did I still have to go back to the yarn store because what I what happened was when I was reading through the pattern I noticed that um, and I read through the pattern after um, I noticed that I didn't have the amount of, of yarn that I need to create to finish the entire thing but so the yarn that I picked up is um, uh, Barocco Vintage DK okay and I and I picked I picked up just a, like a cream color because I really I took pictures and I asked her what she wanted and she really didn't tell me <laughs> but um or she she waited too long to tell me so I I just I went safe okay and I'll show you what I did so far and the reason why I didn't show this in the It Ain't Done Yet is because of, because this is considered, you know, it's on my list for 2015. And it's like right at 2015. So I wanted to just jump started. Okay, so here's the thing. This is what I started, the bottom part, like the ribbing, and then the, the, the like the bottom part, like right here. This is what I started the day before yesterday. And you see the this this I started uh, I picked it up and did it today. I'm not pulling this out. I am not pulling this out. You saw the difference. It the, the bottom was a, a tad smaller than the uh, than the top part. This is my continental challenge. I started this doing my English style, okay, and then True challenged me yesterday. And then I picked this back up and I accepted her challenge and I started to do the Continental. I'll tell you why I accepted the challenge. One, I really, I do want to challenge myself to learn different ways of knitting. But two, I hurt my hand today. And so while I would knit, you know, knit with this hand, um, I banged my hand on the door. And now it's like, it hurts. It, like I was crying today knitting this. I, like I said, I started, I started, I picked this back up like 10 minutes and I'm such a slow knitter, but look how much I got done in like 10 minutes. Okay. And that's because my hand is like, I was holding the needle while I was knitting continental and I was just crying. I was crying. Another reason why it's small is that when I originally swatched for this, uh, the needle that it calls for is a size five US five needle. And um, I usually have to go up a size or down a size depending on what the pattern is. And when I swatched for this, I needed a size six when um, uh, size US six needle when doing this, when doing the swatch, when I was doing English style. So I started it. Then when I'm knitting, I'm starting to knit today, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm using a size five. So that's why it's so so darn small. I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm using a size 5. For what was that? As soon as I picked up and I started to do the Continental, I went ahead and I checked gauge and I hit it. Size 5. I hit it right on the nail. So, I'm not, I'm not, first of all, this is the bottom. I'm doing the leg. I was trying to figure out how to do this in the round because I don't like seaming. I've not done this before, so this is going to be something uh, new to me. But... Because it's going to be in the bottom, I'm not making a big deal about pulling this out. I'm not pulling it out. I am on a time crunch right now. So that's one of the things that I started. Well, that's the only thing that I started so far. 
Um, there was something else that I was going to say about that. Oh, so I've had this book for a while, but I've really not, I've not really used it. So I'm going to, for 2015, I'm really going to start writing down, you know, my thoughts on the projects like what did I really like about it get more information about the yarns and I'm really going to be doing a lot more learning um, going in depth and learning uh, about different textures of yarns and I have tons of magazines that I just look at the patterns and I don't look at the little stories and stuff and I love looking at stories but for whatever reason I just don't I'm talking really really fast today sorry um, but so I'm going to be I, I want to better myself. I want to go ahead and start learning more in depth the types of yarns, you know, drapage and so on and so forth. Because I want to start thinking about creating my own patterns. Like I have so many ideas in my head and I'm pretty sure all of you guys who want to do your own patterns, you probably just went ahead and did it. But for me, I'm one of those people that I need to research. I need to, have, like I'm just nitpicky like that when it comes to learning new skills. So I have to really research and go into doing this and doing that before I really jump into trying to figure out a pattern. Um, so there is a, a class that I've been eyeballing. I have not purchased it yet on, on Crafty that talks about the different types of yarns, you know, teaching you about the different types of yarns. And I'm still hesitant um, to purchase it. So I'm just thinking maybe probably by the next podcast or even after that, um, I'll let you know whether or not I purchased it and how I feel about it. Um, but okay, so that's that. So here is my list. Ready? For the rest of this podcast, it's going to be about my list. And how I think I'm going to use up my yarn in order to do this list. Alright. So. The first. The first thing, um. Is the is the ghostly cloak? That's what it's called. The pattern is called the ghost the ghostly cloak, and it is from the Knitting Wizardry book. And actually, it is this pat this uh, um, cloak right here. That is the ghostly cloak. This is what I want to make. And I tell you why I want to make that for Christmas this year. My hubby was so wonderful, and he went ahead and he brought me yarn, and he brought me. And he brought me this lovely bag that I can hold my yarn in and travel in. The first thing that I asked him is, is it waterproof? <laughs> because I have bags, but I don't use it. Because if it's raining, I can't. Because then my yarn will get wet. I don't like wet yarn if, not, if I'm not blocking it. Um, but anyway. So in here, I had put the yarn. I had put the, the yarn that he had purchased me. And it is Premier Yarns Alpaca Dance, I believe is the colorway. It's 75% uh, acrylic and 25% alpaca. And so, although this pattern, the ghostly, and it's like this really light gray. I really like it. So, I think that that pattern would turn out very lovely. And he brought me six skeins, which is the amount that I need for this particular pattern. So, I'm really happy. I can't wait to start it. Um... But um, I think that this or the original pattern calls for like mohair. I've never done mohair, but I think that this would be a really nice substitute. Again, I'm still learning yarns. I don't really know, but I have a feeling that it would turn out very lovely as long as I make gauge. Okay, then the other uh, pattern I've talked to you guys about it before. It is the gardener's socks. I've not knitted up yet, but it is on my 2015. Again, 2015 is the get it together year, and I'm definitely going to have, um, here they are. I'm going to have a ton of patterns done in 2015. So these are the socks. I think that they're very beautiful. I'm a little bit, I've been hesitant to really get into sock knitting because a lot of the sock patterns that I found they're cuffed down and I'm not very comfortable with trying to do cuff down but I gotta get over that and I will um, the other pattern is here's my list and it will continue to grow I'm sure but I just so that you know 
So here's my list, and I have the pages from the, oh, sorry. I have the pages and stuff like that from the different types of books. I have the names of where, you know, um, where they're coming from. And I'm not done by far. But so here, so it's the gardener's sock. Then I would like to do... Actually, I don't think I wrote this down, this pattern down. Let me see. I have to check the page 83. I did not write this pattern down. I have to write it down. I have to write this pattern down. But I want to make this cardigan. It's called the Owl Cardigan. And I'm pretty sure... Oops, sorry. I'm pretty sure that you guys have seen this tons and tons of times on Ravelry. But I really want to make it. It would be one of my... One of my first cardigans. And I'll tell you why it's one of my first. Okay, that's that. And then... Um, I want to make the Blue Moon Shawl. This is my list. I'm sharing with you guys my list. This is the Blue Moon Shawl. I think that it's very beautiful. And again, the idea, the purpose of my list is to try and match my stash to these projects so um, I'm hoping that it will work in my favor <clears throat> I have to get a better picture of this I'm not too sure and um, the other one is the mermaid's song mermaid's song shawl I'm a very big like I'm a fanatic when it comes to shawls. I've not knit that many, but I really love the designs that people I like. I love the designs people put together for for everything that I see on Craftsy. I mean, on on Ravelry. Um, but for whatever reason, like shawls and lace knitting, really, I find them very exciting. And so um, that's one of my things that I really want to do. I want to start to construct my own shawls okay I think that I showed you I showed you for this for the knitting uh, wizardry book that's one the, the Rodeo Drive poncho is the other one for 2015 that I'm gonna finish the Harmony sock also the Harmony everyday sock I showed this to you guys before Harmony everyday sock Lauren Nelkin's uh, life um, um, life cycle shawl that I I really think I'm going to to make into a baby blanket, but I definitely will have to purchase the yarn for this because I don't have it. So I think that this would be, you know, probably midway. Okay, and I had some some Q, um projects on Ravelry that I want to get done so they are on my list for 2015 this is the retro what's it called retro rogue I'm sorry it's not in color but if you go on to Ravelry you can definitely look up the pattern it's free I want to do that um, this is also another free pattern on Ravelry it's called baby chalice blanket um, and the reason why I think I may make like two or three of them because I know that I can make the baby blankets in in acrylic, you know, for the for the mommies, it's easier. So that's those. And then I have um, the Jane Austen um, magazine that I had purchased a while ago, and I had not. <clears throat> I had not knit anything from here because it was like right before the holidays and I knew that I wasn't going to really have time um, to sit down and really think about which one I'm going to knit. And so let's see. <clears throat> I should use, I should definitely put some markers on here. Um, this is this is one and this is called um, the Mrs. Jennings 
country stockings I really like it I don't know what color I'm gonna make them but I really like them I like the detail on them that's one then I was thinking about making these um, and they're called the men's driving gloves so one of my co-workers she gives some um, gloves to the homeless for the winter and so <clears throat> I know that she probably, I mean, I probably, because I don't know how, how well this would knit up, but if, once I get the pattern down pack, I'll probably make a couple and just, you know, donate it to her, give it to her so that she can give it to the homeless. Okay, so that's that. 102. 102 is called a shawl, <clears throat> a shawl for Emma, for Emma. Look at that. How pretty is that? Okay, there's a ton of shawls in here and I just had to like pick just a couple. Okay. Oh, this is another one and this one has beading which I've never done before. So let me see if I can get you a better picture because this one doesn't really show. Here it is. Um, it's called Fit Williams Gift. Fit Williams Gift. Look at that. And it has beading in it. I've never done beading anything. So I'm looking forward to trying this out. Alright. That's that for Jane Austen. Then I have um, Enchanted Knits, which I also brought um, a while ago and just put it off to the side. I should have done this before, I'm sorry. Um, this is called Elegant Sleeves. I am in love. Look at that. I am so in love. Oh, wait. Let's see. Look at that. I think that they're so beautiful. So, I'm going to do that. Then the other one is called... Um, White Queen Stall. Look at this. Look at that. Yes, baby, I am a queen. I don't know if I'll do it in white. I think that I'll do it in a color that really pops. Um, then, again, I'm into like wraps and, and shawls and stuff. Then it's Rumpelstiltskin's wrap. Like it, oh, I'm sorry. I gotta get this down pat. Look at that. I don't know if you can see the pattern. Pick yourself up a copy of the Enchanted Knits. It has really, really good. Uh, I want to knit everything that's in here, but I really have to limit myself because I know that I just can't do that. Okay. Um, then. Then I want to make this. It's called Hunger for Ramp Rampian Pullover. Hunger for Rampian Pullover. Look at that. Am I doing this right? Look at that. I like that. That's nice. I don't know if I'll make it for myself, but I do. I definitely want to make it. So I had a ton. I definitely started my list, and I really am going to going to stick to it and and I'm gonna get it done I'm gonna get it done I am going to use up and I'm I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna be adding to this list probably tomorrow but uh, another thing that I did want to say is that yesterday when I was on uh, while I was talking to true she mentioned that there is a hashtag um, by the name of operation sock draw and I'm so <laughs> I think that that's an awesome idea. Like she was telling me about how people are just knitting up socks to have and getting a, getting rid of their commercial socks. 
And so I think that that's an awesome way to do like, you know, first of all, to get better at sock knitting and to have your own like really custom made socks. I think that's awesome. So I'm going to try and jump in on that. Um, and I would definitely keep you guys abreast about how that's going. Definitely hashtag that and let me see all your pictures if you are making socks. If you have any ideas, questions, or comments, definitely hit me up. Follow me on Ravelry. I oh, and on my Instagram, I'm I'm constantly taking pictures, constantly, constantly taking pictures. So definitely follow me on Instagram. Hit me up on um, Pandaville Podcast. I for the f upcoming future, I'm definitely gonna make things a little bit more poppy, more lively. Um, I've been joining a lot of groups on Ravelry and I've, I've been finding a lot of things very interesting and learning a lot of things. So as the, the time passes, I'll definitely be um, sharing that with you. I do want to start doing knit alongs, but I don't have that big of a following yet. Um, but I've really been thinking about what type of knit alongs to do for the upcoming like, springtime. If you have any ideas of what things you would like to knit, um, or if there's like a charity you'd like to knit for, definitely hit me up. Put it in the show note. Uh, put it in the comments, or hit me up on the Ravelry page. Um, please, when you have a minute, just please, please, please like. Uh, it's the button that's like this. Please, please hit it. Um, leave me comments. Hit me up. I'm not gonna bite you. Um, but I really do, I, I love doing this, and so, and I want to get better at it. And I would only get better at it if you guys um, hit me up and let me know what's going down. Okay? So, Happy New Year. Please be safe. Enjoy it with everyone. Um, and, and I will see you in the new year. Um, live life and love it to the fullest. Panda, out. <laughs>